Happy Thanksgiving Day and welcome to Central Moments. Uh, if you're alone today, I trust you'll sense the presence of God and you'll still be grateful to the Lord for the great God that he is and, and what he can be doing in your life. If you're not alone today, you're with other people, uh, may God give you joy and grace. May, may it not end up in family fights or drunkenness or all the things that happen in so many families by the end of Thanksgiving Day. But may this be a day where Jesus is present and we're grateful to him. I want to tell you a story of, um, of uh, an experience in my life regarding gratefulness and thankfulness um, that gave me a whole new understanding of God's activity in my life. If you've been around me for a while, known me for a while, you possibly heard me tell versions of this story. It, it starts with the book of James in the New Testament and one verse. Every good, verse 17, every good and perfect gift is from above. So this is the first chapter of James, verse 17. What a statement. Every gift, every good and perfect gift comes from above. It comes down from the Father of the heavenly lights. That's what we mean by above. It, 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 that above translates to a real heavenly Father. And he's the Father of light who does not change like shifting shadows. In other words, his goodness is consistent. And he said he's the source of everything good. Now, I was trained as an engineer, and so my instinct was to reverse engineer this verse. The work back of every good thing in life is from God. And obviously, even atheists, even people who hate God, um, can't get away from God's goodness. I mean, uh, today, in, uh, on the day I'm recording this, outside, it's... It's uh, November, but it's also sunny and about 70 degrees. It's beautiful. I mean, I love the sunshine and I love the warm temperatures. And, and y you know what? People who hate God are enjoying, are, are enjoying the nice weather today. And people who love God are enjoying the nice weather today. In fact, Jesus says in the Sermon on the Mount, that's why you ought to love your enemies. Because God makes his sun shine on everybody, whether they like him or not. That's how God is. And so every good thing comes from God. So I, I, I thought, well then I, if, if I was to start really taking seriously every little good thing in a day, um, th that would have to trace back to God. And so I, I started doing this five, five minutes while I was falling asleep at night. I just, I just, for a while, almost every night, I just start thinking about my day from when I got up. And, and, and little things that you might think were trite, like thank God I got up, <laughs> and thank God there was toothpaste, and thank God Oh, God, I had that parking spot just came open at lunch when I was late for a lunch meeting. And, you know, just all these little things that most people say, oh, that's trivial, that's demeaning, that, that you know, you shouldn't be treating like God. God doesn't give you parking spaces. Uh, but you know what? James said every good thing comes ultimately from him. And uh, so I started seeing the hand and activity of God. And I just felt like I was supposed to just for a few minutes every night just review my day in, the, in my head. And if there's anything that, hap that I could possibly classify in the good column, uh, I would thank God for it because ultimately, ultimately in the big picture, as our creator, he's the source of it. And he can control what I can't control. And, and he can become involved. And what, what I found through that exercise in Thanksgiving over several months was I just, it just conditioned me to be aware of how active the Lord is in my life. It was a wonderful, wonderful thing. It helped me in my spiritual walk just became aware more of his presence and his goodness as I just, by thankfulness, made a point to see that he is the source of all of these things through every day in my life that I could classify as good or a blessing. And so may he do that. In fact, in the very next verse back there in James 1, after saying everything good gift comes from above, he said, and he chose to give us birth through the word of truth that we might be a kind of first fruits of all he created. And that's the greatest thing to be thankful for today, that because of Jesus, we can have new birth. We can be made alive again. Our sins can be forgiven. We can repent of our sin and turn our allegiance and our loyalty to following Jesus. And he makes us new. Thank you for this. On this Thanksgiving Day, bless everybody who's listening, we pray, whether they're alone or with others. My God, may this be a day we're so aware of your goodness. And may we live all this next year aware that you are the source of every good thing. We praise you. In Jesus' name, amen.